All right, folks, here we are in Autodesk Fusion 360. Here we have a model that has been created here uh, that just shows two offsets. There's one down here and then two extruded parts that's a little bit further below. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to go into the manufacturing view and then basically go to, my, my setup is exactly the way it is here, um, to use the 2D pocket tool or adaptive clearing. Either one is, is, uh, is good. The, my main focus here is to show you that in order to reach this level down here, you have to clean out this area here. And the problem that I've been running into is that if I select this surface as shown here, and I'm gonna to go to my tools and go to select my tool, and I'm gonna just select a generic uh, quarter inch flat end mill um, and just hit okay. What happens is as I go through the simulation here, actions simulate, it will do its thing but as you can see, it leaves an artifact here in the middle. And that's not good because that's where we want to go do our second toolpath to go down there. And if we were to leave it like that, it will crash the part or crash the tool. So that's not what we want to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to exit this simulation mode and we're going to go back into the 2D pocket by double clicking this icon right here. Once we go into our geometry tab here, you can see I'm going to exit this chain of selection. And instead of selecting the surface this time, I'm going to select the edge the pocket selection edge. When I select that surface, it does the entire plane of that level of the, of the, um, of the part. So then when I hit OK, notice the toolpath is completely different. It spirals in. Let me just show you exactly what it does. It spirals in, and it will go down to the toolpath right where we need it to, and then it starts to do its thing and follow the contours of the part itself, leaving the next part available for the next phase. So what then happens is I'm gonna to go to the 2D uh, level here and I'm gonna to go to pocket again. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna select my tool, which is already quarter inch flat end mill. I'm gonna to go to geometry and I, there's nothing selected right now. I'm gonna select this surface or I could select the same thing and select the pocket selection edge and it'll do the entire surface of that area. I'll do that one and then hit okay. And then you'll see what exactly happens as I do my actions and simulate. This is the second phase of quote unquote, maybe a different tool that I may be using, etc. But now this first area is clean and then it ramps in and does the helical spiral right into there and starts modeling out that spot for my part. So that's what I wanted to show you. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that helps speed up some things for you guys and enjoy your rest of your evening.